Construction will start soon on one of our busiest highways. US 35 in Greene County has had many car crashes, and now there's a plan in the works to make it safer. News Center 7's Kayla McDermott talked with a man who knows exactly how dangerous this road is. Workers have been removing trees here at the US 35 and Trabine Interchange in Greene County because they are getting ready to redo this whole area and make it safer. The project is supposed to improve the safety and congestion problems here, according to a press release from the Greene County engineer. Someone who could have benefited from this interchange being safer is Johnny Shingleton. And I was stopped at a traffic light at the Trabine exit. Well, that's the last thing I remember. Shingleton was hit from behind by a semi-truck while sitting at that red light in 2016. I died twice and they brought me back. He had to overcome several injuries. Had 64 pints of blood put in me, two collapsed lungs, a head injury, and a broken back. And one year later, Shingleton said this almost happened again. I was watching the rearview mirror and seeing this semi coming down the road. And I told my wife, I said, he's not going to stop. So I had to go off the side of the road to avoid the wreck. In the release, it says there have been more than 200 accidents, with 64% of them resulting in an injury over the course of five years. There's been numerous accidents. I told Shingleton about the plan to make the interchange safer, and he said he wants a safety measure put back in place. There used to be a sign out there that said, uh, caution, red light, when this is blinking, stop. That seemed to help quite a bit. In addition to the sign, he would like to see the stoplights disappear. Maybe a bridge or something. He still drives at this interchange, but is looking forward to the improvements. I would just like to see the problem fixed so no more people get hurt or killed. On March 13th, ODOT and the county engineer are going to be announcing all the safety measures that will be added to this interchange. In Xenia, Kayla McDermott, News Center 7.